Kelsey. And it's Becky. And we the Sire Girls. And today's DIY is a rather handy DIY. Do you, do you need a hand with this DIY? Um, I don't know where this trend came from, but I just noticed that there was these brass gold hands in everyone's home decor photos and everyone's home tours. And I was like, where did that come from? How do I get one? I need one. And how do I not pay a lot of money for N? For one. Exactly. So we're like, mm, there's a way to DIY this, as there always is. And we figured it out, and we're gonna tell you about that. But first, we also noticed that a handful of you guys aren't subscribed. Actually, only one third of the people that watch our video are subscribed, which isn't uncommon for YouTube, but we just wanted to say hi, and if you aren't subscribed, you know what to do. Bless our current subscribers, and bless anyone who's just subscribed now. We love you all. Thank you all. so much. Thank you. All right, should we get on to this video? Yeah, we gotta hand it to you. It's a really good one. Okay. Hand puns it right now in the go, description, go, in go. the comments. To make our gold hand, we started with a hand casting kit, which can be found online or in art stores. The alternative to this is buying alginate, which is the material used to make the mold, and plaster of Paris, which is what you use to fill in the mold with separately. But we found that the kit was a better price, so we went with that. The kit is also linked below for you guys. We added six cups of cold water to our bucket. At this point, we recommend wetting your hands so it'll be easier to slide out of the mold and practice how you want your hand to be placed. We added the Mick Mold Alginate Impression Mixture to the water and stirred quickly for a minute. You won't get rid of all the lumps and that's okay. You don't want to mix it for too long, otherwise your mold material will harden and your mold will just be of the stick that you're mixing it with. We probably waited just a little too long between mixing and putting my hand in because we had to maneuver some of the mixture over my wrist rather than it filling in the gaps on its own. I know it's hard to tell, but try not to touch the bottom or any of the sides with your fingers, otherwise it could compromise the end result. Our instructions said to leave our hand in there for one and a half minutes, but we left it in for three minutes for good measure. How's it going? Uh, it's good. It's cold. It's good. Once the time was up and the top was hardened, but still jelly, I carefully wiggled my fingers and hand until I could pull it free. You want to make sure that every part of the mold stays intact, so be careful. Next, we made our plaster of Paris. To do this, we added one and two third cups of cold water to a mixing bowl. We added the plaster of Paris to the bowl and mixed it together until smooth. We then spooned our plaster of Paris into the mold a couple of spoonfuls at a time. You need to make sure that you tilt your mold and vibrate it to get the plaster into all the nooks and crannies of your mold. At this step, we should have tilted almost upside down because my fingers were bent. We didn't get it into the furthest part of the fingers. Comment, OMG, I didn't even notice below if you didn't even notice that the tips of the fingers were missing. But again, to avoid this, add a little bit of plaster at a time and tilt and hit your mold on the table until you're confident that the plaster has gotten everywhere. Once the digits are filled, you can add more spoonfuls at a time and start to fill in the hand. Keep rotating and vibrating the mold to remove all of the air bubbles. Even when the mold was full, we vibrated until we stopped seeing air bubbles rise. We then let it dry for two hours. After the time was up, we were able to dump our mold out of our container and then begin to slowly and carefully pull away chunks of the alginate. It took a while, but once the hand was freed, we took some fine grit sandpaper to sand off any imperfections. This is what it looked like after some sanding. We also made sure that the plaster was completely dry and the hand clean of dust before moving on to our next step, painting it. With some gold spray paint, we took the hand outside and gave it a couple of coats of gold spray paint. Once it was dry, we brought it inside to add one finishing touch. We decided to take some white paint and draw some flash tattoo inspired designs on the hand. We did this to make the hand look a little bit more boho inspired decor rather than a statue or something from your bio class. Take your time with this and have fun free handing lines, arrows and dots. Okay, we need one more other pun for the outro. Okay, uh, um, what about fingers? Android. I don't know. Ugh. Damn it. We used them all up in the intro. We oh, did. we hope you enjoyed our handiwork. And um, we want to see some creations that you guys do. Like, there's lots of different cool shapes you could do. Let us know what home decor stuff you'd like to see next. We haven't actually done, we've done a lot of fashion recently, mm -hmm. so we're excited to do this home decor, home decor for you guys. Home decor. You guys should definitely keep your eye out for this gold hand making an appearance in a certain video next week that may or may not be dorm related and all about dorm decor. Okay. A lot of room decor stuff that you guys are gonna love. Just told you what it is, but. Yeah, it'll be really exciting. It's we fun. filmed it in an actual dorm, guys. It's not just like we did it in our office. We went off campus for this. All right, well, we'll see you guys in that video next week. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you like it, make sure you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And hand enjoyed it. <laughs> Bye, guys.
We noticed a handful of you aren't subscribed. Why don't we see that at the beginning? 